My name is Mark Vickers. I'm originally here from Dallas, you know, and uh, just recently I was in an accident. That's why I'm here at the Salvation Army. I was homeless, you know, and uh, basically just sleeping from spot to spot on the streets, you know. But uh, they uh, came and talked to me at the hospital. At the, a representative from the Salvation Army talked to me from, at the hospital and, and found out I didn't have nowhere else to go to, during my recovery. So they placed me here, which has been a, a very good help. The way I first came homeless was through drug use and drinking, you know. Um, and it, you know, got out of control, couldn't, wasn't able to keep a job, and couldn't get along with no one. So I was on the street, so I hadn't been sleeping well. I hadn't slept in a few days, and uh, I was walking down the, the shoulder of the road and got hit, and uh, the driver kept going. And uh, I didn't have nowhere else to go from, from the hospital, except for the savage normally. They've been putting me here. I've been, I've been here at the savage normal for about nine months recovering and learning different things that I can do to make my life better. Life on the streets can be very hard and very uh, disappointing and, and upsetting, you know. This is something I wouldn't want to go through again. That's why I'm here trying to get help and, and tr retrain to, to where I, I can provide for myself. Some of the worst aspects is, you know, you lose your self-esteem, your self-respect. You, you ain't concerned about no one else but yourself, really, because you barely surviving on the streets, you know, going through, um, you know, being homeless. Sometimes you ain't got a square meal uh, or a place to clean up or wash up or two and thing. And it can be very degrading, you know, on, on a person's esteem. And but here, once you're at Salvation Army, they, they build you back up, help you build yourself back up, actually, you know, to where you can think and not want to be homeless again. The first time I came to the Salvation Army, uh, this is my second stint through the Salvation Army. And they, they put me back on the right track, but I just didn't stay with the program as far as the AA meetings and support groups that they do have. Like once you leave here, I'm sure you can still come back to the Salvation Army for AA meetings, and that'll be your support, you know. But I got away from that and ended up in a worse predicament than the first time. So right now, I'm basically taking advantage of all of the Salvation Army has to offer as far as getting clean, staying clean, finding employment, and finding housing. When we're here at the Salvation Army, I, I have learned, like I say, this is my second step. I have learned to be more open and, and more truthful with the counselors and, and myself to where I can benefit more, even more from it, you know. Uh, during my recovery, though, uh, they like have things, programs like life skills, to help you interview for jobs or tell you, you know, give you some social help or, you know, counseling, whatever. Uh, some of the lessons are like, uh, the first lesson uh, they did teach you during the classes, you know, like filling out applications, how you do your resume, as far as job interviewing, and uh, helping you with your people skills, com communicate better, and, you know, kind of being more positive about yourself, get a good feeling about yourself to where you, you can feel comfortable to go out and, and find a job. Uh, the Salvation Army has been a, it's a great place to go get help, get, uh, you know, um, get your life back together. It's temporary housing, safe, clean, very positive. And uh, if you need help, you can come here and get it. The thing that makes the Salvation Army different is the care they show to you, you know, the positive things they show to you. But it's not just the positive thing. They also let you see the negative things that you have in your life that you need to try to avoid or, or, or learn from. And the Salvation Army is very good at that. If I hadn't came to the Salvation Army, I'd have been, you know, probably dead on the streets. I'd be done hurt someone or, or, you know, just living life hand in mouth, you know, just not feeling good about myself, not feeling good about no one else. Well, you know, once you come in here at the Salvation Army, right out the gate, try to teach you to feel good about yourself, about others, you know, your communication skills are still good. And basically, you know, just start living life again, you know, one step at a time through all the activities and all the programs they do have for, to help you get through. The Salvation Army is kind of unique, because to me they is, really. Uh, they're doing the most good with what they have. They teach you how to do the most good with what you have, you know, your skills and everything else. Yeah. And what sets them apart is, set the Salvation Army apart is they actually care, they showing you they care, you know, not because of 
you have any special skills or anything, but they're going to teach you what you have and make you feel special about yourself. You know, make you want to get out there and, and try to live a good life.